This GPU is an RTX A2000. It's not actually a gaming card, it's for workstations, but it's very powerful in the low profile GPU space and perfectly capable of running modern games, even in a desktop that's a decade old. I'll be testing games in a Dell Optiplex 7010 small form factor. It has an i5-3470 CPU capable of 3.2 gigahertz. It has 16 gigabytes of RAM installed and it's running Windows 10 Pro. I've converted the optical drive to an SSD to run the operating system, and I have a spinning hard drive underneath for mass storage. This A2000 is the six gigabyte variant. There's a 12 gigabyte variant out there as well. It's designed to work optimally in a PCI Express 4.0 16X slot. This Optiplex has a 3.0 16X slot because 4.0 didn't exist 10 years ago. It has a total power requirement of 70 watts and this 3.0 slot can give it 75 watts maximum, so it doesn't need any external power. I've employed my kid to be the one playing games, you'll see, and she was getting a little bit frustrated at how long it was taking for a new game to run its optimization tests. And I told her we had it a lot better when I was her age. Back then, optimization was, oh, the game doesn't work? Okay, take it out, blow on it, and try again. Boom, optimized. Eventually, we got around to actually testing the games. Check it out. All right, this is Forza Horizon 4 on medium settings. I am off-roading a little bit. Looks like I've already busted my tail light and uh, shattered one of the windows. It's on medium settings currently, and it looks like we're taxing the CPU a little bit more than the GPU. Now we're gonna go into settings and we're gonna see if we can change this video setting from medium to high. Let's see what that does to the game. All right, it looks like on high settings, we're still getting 60 frames per second, uh, and it looks beautiful. Now we're playing an emulation of Ocarina of Time on the Nintendo 64. As you can see, it is only using about 16 or 17 percent of the GPU, and about 30 percent uh, down to 25 percent of the CPU. But this game is going to only have 20 frames per second. So in this situation, I would look more at GPU and CPU utilization. It's upscaled to 1080p. All right, now we're playing some Harappa the Rapper. We've got only 6% GPU utilization. This is on the, uh, this is emulated from the PlayStation 1, by the way. Uh, we've got 6% GPU, 30% CPU. We're getting 30 frames per second on this old gym. Now this is a very fun game. One of the first pattern recognition games for a home console. All right, this is Disneyland Adventures. It's a bit of an older game being from 2017. So our hardware is able to handle it just fine with about 60% CPU utilization, about 40 to 45% GPU, and we're getting a solid 60 frames a second. All right, this is Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. Of course, I'm Tommy Oliver, because who else would I be? Uh, we're getting 59 or 60 frames per second. It's dropping a frame here or there, but that's really about it. Uh, we've got about 40% CPU utilization, about 40% GPU utilization. This is Tetris Effect. On epic settings, everything turned all the way up. Freaking love this game. All right, it looks like for this game, the suggested preset is low and it's obvious the CPU is bottlenecking at this point. We've got 80 to 90% CPU usage. The GPU is settling out at about 80% usage to get 60 FPS. Every once in a while it drops a frame here or there. 
This is a newer game that really does push the system more. It's determined that it needs to be on low settings. So here in just a minute, after we watch a little bit of gameplay, I will change those settings to a little bit higher and see what that does to the FPS. For whatever reason, we're showing zero FPS with this counter. So we'll see what we need to do to uh, get an FPS count. Okay, now we've changed it to high settings. All right, this is on high settings and we still have 60 FPS. Let's see what happens when I knock down some trees. We drop some frames down to 49. Now we're back up to 59 to 60. It's handling it pretty well. It was just that one little hitch when we hit the first cactus. But we're hanging true at 60 FPS. Whoop, and we flipped. No problem. I wonder what would happen if we switched it to ultra settings. Here's ultra settings. Looks like it's holding true to 60 FPS. Let's knock down some cacti. Yeah, it's stuttering a little bit, dropping down a little, down to 53, back up to 60. And it's actually doing a pretty dang good job at ultra settings. All right, if you liked that, you're gonna have to check out this. This goes over the installation of the graphics card. That A2000, you'll never guess what it broke off of my Optiplex.